Well, hello, students. Let us conclude this lesson with some um, word problems and some examples here of a word problem. So let's go through this. The charity that you volunteer for is selling daffodils to raise money. The charity has spent $250 on supplies and plans to sell them for $5 each. So when we say supplies here, we mean daffodils. Um, so this is what they spent so far. This is the cost. Right. And then this is the potential uh, revenue or the the money that comes in. So write an inequality that gives the possible numbers D of daffodils the charity needs to sell in order for the profit to be positive. OK, so in order for the profit. to So let's set up some some variables here. They've already called a variable D here daffodils. This is the number of daffodils sold. Okay, so the number of daffodils sold times five is how much money we would make from the sales of these flowers. And in order for us to uh, have a positive profit, it has the amount of money that we sell from the daffodils has to be greater than the cost of the supplies, or two hundred and fifty dollars. So this is part A. And all we really have to do is write the inequality. Part B says, what are the possible numbers of daffodils the charity needs to sell in order to, to make a profit? Well, we just solve this inequality. I'll rewrite it over here, and then we'll solve it. And it won't take very long to rewrite or solve. So just divide both sides by 5, and we get D is greater than 50. So we need to sell at least 50. So the answer is uh, at least uh, 50. Well, actually, we should say more than 50. So at least 51, right? So this is not this is a strict inequality. So at least 51, because you can't sell half a daffodil, at least not in this example. And it said if the charity bought 55 daffodil bulbs, are they able to make a profit explain well we can say that the answer is yes right because we needed to sell 51 or more and we bought we got 55 of them so we should be fine okay so yes if the charity uh, sells 51 or more so they bought 55 so they're, they're able to, to to make a profit if they're able to sell 51 or more okay so there you go um, the the inequality solving isn't quite that difficult it's what we've seen in the in the previous examples but uh, the focus here is really on extracting information from the problem and then applying it applying the inequality knowledge that we know as always keep working hard and have a wonderful day.